how to pay no tax in Australia by departing Australia. Sounds great, doesn't it? The highest tax rate in Australia is 47%. That is a significant amount of money gone to the tax man and worse off out of your pocket. Here today to talk to you about how you can potentially avoid that by moving overseas and by establishing a life elsewhere. I've worked with a number of clients on this recently, so I'm here to share my experience with you so you can learn and you can potentially take ownership of your financial situation. If you find this video helpful, please like and please subscribe. It really helps us get our message across to more people like yourself. There are some crucial steps to ensure you have done this correctly and most importantly, legally from an Australian tax perspective. There are a few steps involved in this and of course, there are a few steps within those steps because it wouldn't be Australian tax law if it wasn't. The two main steps in this process is one, ceasing your Australian tax residency and two, ensuring that you are no longer earning Australian sourced income. So when it comes to ceasing your Australian tax residency, this is something that I've spoken about many times and I put together a recent video on Australian tax residency and the importance of ascertaining your Australian tax residency correctly. And I'll link that one below so you can take a look and we go into a bit of detail and show some examples. So I highly recommend you give that a watch. Once you cease your Australian tax residency and become a non-resident for tax purposes in Australia, you then only pay tax in Australia on Australian sourced income. For example, if you are running a coaching business online, you're providing services to people all around the world. If you are running that from Australia, earning Australian dollars for your money, being an Australian tax resident, there is a significant amount of tax that may be paid on that. However, by structuring correctly, you may be able to pay no tax in Australia on that whatsoever. So how do you see, how do we cease Australian tax residency? I'm glad you asked. It comes down to your personal circumstances and look, it always comes down to your personal circumstances and how the law is applied in that situation. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk about the current tax laws, how they are today and not about the proposed tax laws coming. There is tax reform coming in Australian tax residency. I speak about it in other videos. I'll link them below so you can take a look and learn about that as well. Back to ceasing your Australian tax residency. This is a two step process. Step one is ensuring you cut ties to Australia. And step two is establishing domicile, establishing a life in another location. To cut ties to Australia, it effectively relates to your physical presence in Australia, your location and maintenance of assets, your family, your business, your employment, social arrangements. There's a whole number of factors involved that we must look at that relates to your personal circumstances. To set up and establish a life elsewhere of Australia, we must do that based on the way the ATO looks at that. And they have a long-term intent of around three years for you to no longer be considered or for you to establish your life abroad. There's a few other factors involved in this. Um, one is long-term appropriate um, visas. Uh, being on a tourist visa will not be suffice when it comes to uh, ceasing or establishing residency elsewhere. We must also look at your job, employment, um, again, social and living arrangements. There's a whole number of factors involved in ensuring that your domicile has been set up elsewhere. And once this happens, 
and you're you're a non-resident for tax purposes in Australia, you then get taxed only on your Australian sourced income. This leads us to the second major step, which is ensuring that no income is Australian sourced income. And look, you might not be able to do this for all your income, but for the majority of your active income, we can potentially find a way to get that source of income outside of Australia. And sources of income is really a complex topic and it looks at a number of factors and the weighting of all those factors. But for an example, like the coaching business, if you were to move your coaching business to say Portugal, for example, all your income and all your services are being actioned from Portugal. You are making contracts with your clients through Portuguese law. You're getting paid into a Portuguese bank account. The weight of all those factors will push the income no longer being Australian sourced to become Portuguese sourced. So therefore, you're no longer an Australian tax resident. You're no longer earning Australian sourced income. You're no longer paying tax in Australia. This is a high level guide. As I said before, you must take in account your own unique personal circumstances. I cannot stress this enough. As always, there's other aspects to consider, like your deemed disposal is an important one on any capital items that you may have that are non-taxable Australian property. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you and I would love to hear um, how we can help you. If you want to reach out, please reach out anytime, never hesitate. We offer a free initial consultation to ensure that we are both on the same page when it comes to whether or not we can help you. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.